gymnastic team is gearing up to take on Western Michigan tonight. It's happening here in the community. And joining me is the head women's gymnastics coach, Natalie Walsh. Welcome back. Thank you okay. for having me. Nationally ranked. That's so exciting. Yeah, the team is doing awesome. We just came off of a win beating Penn State, and we're ready just to keep going against the Big Ten opponents. Yeah, it's going to probably be a tough schedule you've got going on with the Big Ten. Yep, absolutely. We go to Michigan State on Sunday, so we actually have two meets this weekend. Okay, well, let's take a look at some video of what a meet actually looks like in case someone out there has never experienced a collegiate gymnastics meet. Okay. So what's going on here? All right, so this is floor exercise, that's beam. We have different athletes on different events. Not every single athlete trains every event. We have a few girls that do. Um, the athletes, they love to be in Huff Hall. That right there, that's Brittany Jones, one of our seniors. Right there, another senior, Karen Howell. That's I love the support there on the sidelines. People just getting so pumped up when they do well. Yeah, gymnastics is not a quiet sport. You don't <laughs> have to hold your breath. It's not like golf. You can yell and cheer like football. The noisier, the better, and the athletes really feed off the energy. I'm sure they do, and I'm sure everyone gets excited when they stick a landing just like that Absolutely. one. And when you stick a landing, you actually, from the actual athlete that stuck the landing, they go out into the crowd and they hand out this really big stick of gum. The kids that go is, wild for it. I'm sure they do. I'm sure a few adults might go a little wild for a big yard stick of gum too. That is cute. Well, definitely high energy like you mentioned, but something you have planned for this meet tonight is um, a daddy-daughter theme. So what do you have planned? Uh, we have planned that we have some little piggy banks here that are able for the kids to get painted. It doesn't have to be just daddies and daughters. It's just parent-child, but for the daddies and daughters that do want to take the little girls out on Valentine's Day to show them how ladies should be treated, then they can can, um, come and they can paint the pigs and then we actually are promoting uh, raising money for the Mills Cancer Center and so we have free pink t-shirts to the first hundred students that show up and the athletes will be wearing pink Leos as, as well. Oh fun and here's an example of the t-shirt there. I also heard there's gonna be some free free admission, free popcorn for um, the first a hundred, so that's nice too. It's always fun to have some extra perks um, when you go to an event like this. Yeah, absolutely. Our, our admissions is actually free for everybody the whole time, so if people want to get out of the cold and come on in, it would be great to have them come watch the team. Yeah, and it's so inspirational for um, the little ones who may have dreams of being an Illini gymnast someday. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. We actually, in a few weeks, we have another home meet where there's a kids clinic, and so those kids can come watch this Friday, and then the next uh, two weeks on that Sunday, they can come and to get on the equipment. So on March 1st, they'll be able to go through the events and feel what it's like to do gymnastics oh, with the team. Fun. I'm sure that's going to require some kind of registration, though. Yes, that's online. That'll okay. just go on our website. We're, we're scrolling through some pictures here of some of the faces that you will see on those different um, events, the beam, and I think we just saw the vault, maybe. So um, these girls are super talented. Yeah, absolutely. They start gymnastics at a very young age, and in college, it's all about the team. It's not as much about the individual. So I would say that these ladies know how to be a fighting Illini family. We have a lot of little inner, um, inner motivational things that we do for the team, but for the most part, they just absolutely love one another, and they love going out there and wearing the block eye, and uh, they want to make a huge impact. So we need the crowd to be there to support them so that they can feel super valued. Well, yeah, and if we can give back and help um, cancer research at the same yeah. time. It's a win-win for everyone. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, it's tonight at Huff Hall at 7 o'clock. You've got plenty of time to make plans now to get there. There's even going to be face painting at 6.30. So if you get there even a little early, you might get some swag. For more information on everything happening with the Fighting Illini women's gymnastics team, we'll connect you over at CILiving.tv. Natalie, thank you so much. Thank you.